hello guys welcome to my youtube channel today we'll be talking more about um, flutter wave implementation so we'll dive straight into it so today we'll be looking at the documentation for um, collecting payments so the fintech that um, facilitates the transfer and payment uh, platform for people for businesses small and large businesses and um, individuals as well so let's go straight into it so this is their documentation so i'll be looking at um the quick start here so the quick start actually gives you um a preparatory course or introduction into what um, flutter with is all about so you just have to create an account and where you get your api keys then you call you can start implement the collect payments make payments i will use any of their plugins or libraries they can use the testing helpers to test before you go live then you are good to go so we'll go straight into it so you can also check out the authentication process here so you have the authentication process if you want to use their apis on postman you can actually implement it on postman and test it and run it so um okay look at it here you just have to use the authorization and use the uh, your secret key from your dashboard as bearer token so they can add your payload that's your body of your request so from there um we'll go down to let's go straight to the collection of payments so collecting payments have different ways of doing that we have the um, flutter with inline we have the flutter with standard so and we have the html checkouts and we have the direct chat to you get now so now the inline is very easy you just have a javascript um, code or library where you could actually um, attach to your project and then you can make the payment but you are going to be using your public key there so your public key is going to be used here so we'll now talk about um, flutter web standards it's where you do your normal coding you have your web books and other things uh -huh. and you have to verify transactions and other stuff so now now go down to estimate checker just very easy create a simple web page then you just um the, when the customer submit the form it redirects to us and we'll redirect back to you when payment is done to get now direct chat is when you build your own uh, the, the ui and payment flow they collect payment information and charge them directly and now the difference is that direct charge will charge directly from their bank accounts you get now you charge your customer directly from your bank account so um there are also uh plugins for cms's like wordpress woocommerce joomla so and you may not even need the website you can use payment links you get now and use invoice to request payment so let's just continue so i'll go straight to inline so that's what we are going to do this evening so so we are going to um, look at the inline code so let me go straight to the code and show you what the code is all about let me go straight to the code so so let me explain what the code does so this is the code here nothing much so i have my um i have my function here make payment here which i call here so the function actually um holds the flutter with checkout um class so this class here or let's say this function here what it does is that it's actually um takes in some parameters as an object so it takes in some parameters public key transaction reference amount this transaction reference a unique reference id so you need to make a random unique characters to get now so um and it's best if it's a very very long encrypted unique character set of characters so go to the currency i'm currently in nigeria so i'll use um, ngn for the currency based on where you are you could actually change it so payment method there are different various payment methods so these are the only ones i'm accepting here card bank transfer ussd now this is not compulsory if you don't include this it's going to accept all payment methods to get now so on your dashboard you can actually set it 
but I'll show you there later. So now go down. Now once it's done with the payment, where do you want it to redirect to? So this is where it should redirect to. If you get once the payment is successful. So um now now continue here. This this is like metadata. If you want more information, then um customer name. So these are just for more information on your customer. Then this is for your own business, the title of the business or the product you're selling description and the local so this is just for it so let's dive straight into it so i'll just go back to the there's nothing much here so the amount is fifty thousand naira. so and look at the amount here it's fifty thousand naira. so uh, mind you it's not in cobble it's actually in naira to get so um let's go straight to it so so i'll just go straight to it immediately okay so let's dive straight into it so this one now um let's go to the browser here yeah? so this is it here so i want to make my payment pay now it takes me straight to flutter with why they call it inline you're writing it inside your code direct like on your front end your javascript file okay? so it's going let's just a few seconds for it almost done good so we can see it here titanic store this and this so let's use um, save card so i have this card already saved so i'll just use the card make the payment thank you for your payments as you get now as your transaction was successfully completed now the good so once you are done like this you will get an email you get an email showing con uh, con successful payment and you also see it on your dashboard so uh, let's go to my dashboard so okay let me go to my dashboard so i think it's, it's like this api code let me see uh, let me see so remember when we talked about testers while we so so let's go back to home. Let me show you something. Quick start. So I have my I have tester testing helpers. So, so these are API um these are card credentials that you can use to test your payment. So this is one for transfers, this is a bank, this are card number, these are dummy. So just meet for testing purposes. Now look at the card. You can use this card, all these cards to test. You get now. So I'm still waiting for this. Okay, the dashboard is ready now. Okay. Don't know why it's delaying, but let's see. So. Okay. So this is it now. So um, please kindly share and um, like and comment and give us feedback on what you want us to do to make the channel better to get so we really love your encouragement and your support thank you very much